Hey everyone, this is James Pelton. Happy Wednesday to you all. I appreciate you guys all being here. Um, We are going to be talking today about, you guys know I talk about it probably more than anything else on my channel, but we're going to be talking about BioFi and particularly their partnership with HVAC REDU. Um, what I need from you guys as we get going, need you to hit the like button, obviously. That's the currency of YouTubers is the like button. So it's free for you, but means a lot to me. So please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you have questions as we're going or things you want to you wanna bring up or just things you want to know about, um, please do let me know. And what I'd like you as an audience to be thinking about as we go, whether you're watching this live or as a recording later, um, I want you to be thinking about what other industries could benefit from this type of technology, okay? Because I would love to bring this educational technology to other industries, to other companies, and to other people. Um, I think it's 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 just better. It's a better way of learning than traditional learning. So uh, be thinking about that. Let me know in the comments. Um, BioFi does have a referral uh, program, which we might talk a little bit about here. But let's go ahead. Let's jump in, meet our guests. And again, audience, if you have questions as we're going, please do ask. Um, but let's just do it kind of uh, clockwise here. So we'll start with Brian, then Todd, then Chris, then David, then Chris. A lot of uh, a lot of guests today, so it's kind of a party a little bit. But can you just do a quick introduction of who you are, your position, who you're with, and then we'll uh, we'll jump into with some questions. Sure. Uh, and and James, you know how I'm going to start this off, right? Uh, you'll probably do some thank you, thank yous, I guess. That's that's right. I I want to. That's exactly right. And I I want to thank uh, your community, the James Pelton community, which is just amazing. You know, when when we were in Johannesburg and all the events, it's just incredible the the outreach and the incredible community that you have, and and we're just really impressed. Um, I want to thank the BioFi community and HVACR Edu. Uh, we have uh, some exciting uh, executives here. The owner of the company, uh, we call him DC, uh, Chris Compton, and uh, Todd Clare in Germany. And uh, this is just an amazing organization. I want to thank them and their entire community. Uh, the amount of work and the effort that we put into this uh, project and the future of it is just incredible. Uh, we're looking forward to a lot of just amazing work in this area and to see the impact on all of this new generation coming out of high school and college, uh, getting into the HVAC industry and uh, learning in this new method. It's just amazing. So I really look forward to this, James, and appreciate the opportunity here. Uh, and I guess I'll turn it over to Todd. All right. Well, I'm Todd Clare. Uh, I joined the team with hvacredu.net what's been almost a year now known chris for geez too long uh chris compton dc that is and uh enjoy working with chris i came on board and uh it was one of the projects that he threw, threw at me he goes and this is one something i pushed with him i said hey chris we said we need to do this we need to get we need to get in a, um get get out there and and do this interactive training let's bridge the gap from our online uh course in in doing so he threw the the project that me. He says, here, here you go. It's yours. And uh, uh, this is what we're doing. And I'm really excited about it. Is As as Brian and, and, and James, you both said, it is the next wave of hands-on education. Chris DC likes to call it instead of hands-on. Amazing. Chris, how about you? Can we get a quick introduction from you? Chris, Chris C, not Chris B. You'll, you'll be later, Chris B. Yeah, I've been dubbed DC, but uh, uh, direct current. Anyhow, uh, yeah, what, what Todd uh, what Todd was saying was, um, yeah, I, it's, it's not hands-on, it's mouse-on. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah so I'm, I'm the founder and CEO of HVACREDU.net. We've been providing online um, on-demand uh, training to the HVACR industry for the last 26 years. Um, I was a little bit early in getting into that type of um, career technical education. Uh, we've been growing and growing and growing. We, we currently have 
around 2300 hours of online curriculum um, and it's utilized by the majority of our students are um, employed uh, already in the field um, <clears throat> and their employers enroll them in one of our programs whether it be an apprenticeship program or uh, specialized um, area like commercial refrigeration or building automation or the list goes on and on <clears throat> the uh, the reason I started this was um, back in the day was it's all about access um, access to training um, this that's needed extremely it's, uh, well it's getting more extreme think about Houston today I just talked to a young man in Houston um, who wants to come into the program they're going to be I don't know what is it 120 or something today um, <laughs> Yes. You, um, do, you, do you think people want air conditioning? Um, yeah. So on and so forth. Uh, the entire South, South Central and Southeast U.S. is that in that shape today. Um, or talk to the people in the Midwest or the East Coast where the Canadian smoke is happening. And what do I read in the news? Uh, stay inside, run your air conditioner. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, on and on and on. Anyhow, the trade is wide open for anybody that wants to get into it. Um, employers are are looking for people under every rock. Um, it's just a great opportunity, and part of part of our um, mission with um, Ryan and his crew is to create uh, interactive simulations. So, primarily, our students can learn um, on their on their own because they're the ones that are running the show how to go from step one step two step three and so on through a sequence of service procedures um, to figure out what to do <clears throat> it'll really ease their ease their situation when they go live in the field uh, we're already gone through this so so that's my story Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you're totally right. You know, not to get political, but if global warming is true, we're going to need more HVAC, right? As, as time goes on. So, uh, not just no, HVAC, I, but condition. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And that's, All right, that's that over to, the nature of the beast. Right yeah. Nope. You're to totally right. So uh, let's go over to David. David, can you quick introduction of yourself? Yeah. Uh, hi, James, and hello, everyone. Uh, I'm David Gonzalez. I'm uh, the lead developer here at Benavant for uh, the Ethos Metaverse. So I'm in charge of programming, all that good stuff, you know. Uh, and I really, I just want to say I really appreciate and enjoy our relationship with HVACR as they are an incredibly professional and high standards organization, setting the bar for the best, highest quality education in the world. And I'm really, really happy to be part of that. All right. And then last but not least, Mr. Chris B., <laughs> Thanks, James. What can I add to that other than it, we've used the word exciting a few times here, and I would say it's definitely an exciting project. And uh, to build on what David just said, HVAC REDU is customer focused, and they're all about delivering the best training and being responsive to, to their, their students, whether it's the staff, the admins, the teachers, the instructors. They're all very, very focused, and that comes from the top. So Chris wants to make sure that it is a great program and that everybody's actively engaged and gets the answers they want. That aligns really well with us because that's what we do. We're really customer focused and we want to make sure we deliver the best solution. So it's really just a great match between the two companies. I'll throw it back to you, James. Thanks. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you guys, everyone, for uh, the introductions. Appreciate you all being here. So let's talk a little bit about HVAC REDU because my audience is pretty familiar with BioFi probably not as familiar with HVAC REDU. So I think most people know what an HVAC system is. And HVAC REDU, your goal is you you will provide training and certificates for HVAC repairmen. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, I, like, like I said, we've been in, been in operation for 26 years. Um, I was just a wee bit ahead of the curve on online training. Um, <clears throat> but it's finally starting to hit home. And over that period of time, 
um, we have been in a constant development cycle, um, starting from the bottom, um, you know, entry level training, uh, and then working our way up to what, uh, yeah, well, if, if you scroll down, you'll see um, a lot of the programs that we offer. Um, so we can take a technician from uh, zero, in other words, somebody that walks in, wants to get into the trade, we can take them from zero all the way up to very, um, what would be considered uh, advanced technologies like building automation, um, uh, so on, boilers, commercial refrigeration, and et cetera. So starting from, from zero and going up, well, one of our major national clients uh, several years ago in a, in a presentation made the comment, which I really like, of course, he said, um, some places have uh, HVAC curriculum online that is, you know, maybe half a mile wide, but it's only a quarter inch deep. And um, our program is half a mile wide and a mile, and a mile deep. Um, so, the, I mean, I thought that was a great description of what we have. <clears throat> the, the importance of HVAC um, uh, is... It always has been a, a, a critical situation, but it, people don't realize what it amounts to. Um, uh, I think that personally, my, I think the industry promotes itself very poorly. Um, you know, nobody knows anything about it. But if you if you walk down any any street in the USA uh, and start looking around and and See what's see what's there, and the equipment is generally very, uh, very invisible, so to speak. Go into a convenience store, look at the look at the cooler, look at the air conditioning, look at the 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 uh, what do you call it the slurpy machines. <laughs> I mean the the list goes on and on and on. It's uh, it's a very insidious insidious industry. It's everywhere, but nobody sees it. <laughs> um, if you're walking down the street and see a big, uh, big uh, louvered grill up on the side of the building, um, I can guarantee you, if you got behind that grill, you'd see a very large machine room with pipes and, and machines and pumps and so on everywhere. Um, it, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, and it's, it's also, uh, it supports our culture to the hill. Um, manufacturing, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the chemical industry, I mean, just about any, I, I used to challenge my students to name me something in a grocery store that hasn't been touched by HVAC or refrigeration. Hmm. It hasn't been, it hasn't been something. Um, it's one of those things where it's invisible, but if it, if it's not there, you notice right away, right? Mm -hmm. If it's not there, uh, that's, that's we, are, we, we are toast <laughs> if it's not there. Yeah. No one and thinks it about it until it breaks. To span, that's right. That's right. And then and to span on what Chris is saying, you know, when he, when he says, you know, all the stuff that isn't touched by refrigeration, that's the product too. All that product, even, even if it wasn't refrigerated, it was either in a cool, cool storage or a freezer on a box truck, on a train, you name it. Okay. Well, and, and think about this, James, and, and you're, you're, you actually live uh, probably, you know, a six hour car drive from, from where I'm sitting. Um, we also have Dagonaut, right? Uh, who is just north of me by an hour. Who's a, who's a very important um, team member in terms of this project and the future of this. Uh, but just imagine it's going to be 100 degrees here um, just outside of St. Louis for the next couple of days. And imagine if we did not have air conditioning, it would just be unlivable. You got to have air conditioning. And furthermore, if somebody's going to come to your house and show up in a truck and work on your unit, don't you want to make sure that person is trained and that they're well educated and they've gone through a quality program? That's exactly what HVAC EDU does is make sure everybody is trained and they can do the job 
and work well in the industry and get out and take care of things. And that's fantastic. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Tommy Godliver says some extra sound effects are heard piano and kids. No, that that is on my end. Um, I could stop and run out and yell uh, or not yell, speak sternly. <laughs> Um, but I'll just call it some uh, relaxing background music as we're going, uh, if that works okay. But yeah, that's the joys yeah. of working from home, right? It's a uh, it's a uh, bitter bittersweet in a lot of ways. Um, so I want to talk about first. I want to show kind of um, what we're talking about here. Again, we we're talking about okay. We have HVAC. We understand that's important. We understand training HVAC people is important. Um, and when I think of like the evolution of HVAC training, it, it probably originally was done maybe in binders, you know, you get a binder of here's all the different situations that happen. You have to go through it. It's all on paper. Chris, you talked about how you were kind of on the edge of, Hey, let's move this to the internet. So that's kind of a revolutionary move, right? We go from paper uh, to the internet. It makes it accessible to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Now we're kind of, I feel like this is the next step, the next uh, revolutionary step in training, but I'd kind of like to show what we're talking about here, what it is that we're doing. So I don't know, David, uh, I know you had some things you wanted to show. Um, we also have on the website, which I'll post this link here. You can kind of see a demo of what exactly um, it is that they're doing. But it's basically like a video game. And the controls are even the same for any of you gamers out there. Forward is W, backward is S, sidestep is A and D. So it's the same gaming controls that you'd have. You know, all all millennials and Gen Zers know these controls and can use them very easily. Use yep. your mouse to scroll around. Um, but it's basically turned this HVAC training, which used to be originally on paper. Then it was on, you know, Internet videos. And not that that's, that's boring. You know, I'm a YouTuber, so I can't say videos are boring. But it's made it interactive, and it's now like a game. Um, but you can still get the same certification. You get the same education. Um, so it's just a really a step forward. And again, audience, this is where I want you to be thinking about what other areas could be using this type of technology for education, for training, for real life experience, things like that. Um, let's see, David, let me add here. So this is David. David, you want to kind of show hey, us... James, I wanted to uh, speak speak something. You mentioned, you know, this the ga gaming type application, and it doesn't take any fancy hardware. If you have a common laptop, uh, your basic desktop, you don't need a big headset to do this. You don't need a gaming computer. It works on your, you know, your Costco, Sam's Club, uh, Staples, wherever you get your regular generic laptop or computer from. So it's uh, conveniently available. Very good. Yeah, for anyone who wants to use it. And, you know, and, and I'll say too, David, as, as we, uh, we will get to, to you kind of showing us, walking us through it a little bit, but for, um, you know, if you're in the older generation, I won't say old, I'll, I'll use it as a subjective term, the older generation, then yeah, this might not make as much sense. Why would you want to learn this way? I'd rather just my, my dad, for example, I'm sure he would see this and say, I would rather just read something. I'd rather have the paper, you know, cause that's what he's used to. But as we get to the next generations, uh, millennial, I'm in the millennials, then we have Generation Z below us. This is how they're used to interacting with the world is in ways like this. So if we want to train the next generation of HVAC people, um, it's got to come in a different medium. It's got to come in the medium that they're looking for. That's so, right. That's why I'm excited about this. So David, go ahead and walk us through this a little bit. Sure. Okay. So uh, we've got our service call here. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm sure... Uh, I can run through it really quick, but um, let's see. The service department has dispatched it to the residential service call at 123 Dodron Boulevard, Ethos Metaverse. The homeowner states that the air conditioning is not cooling on a hot summer day. The system does not blow cold air out of the supply registers, even though the indoor unit and outdoor unit are operating. Upon arrival, you have made contact with the homeowner, introduce yourself, and explain that you are there to repair the HVAC system. Please attempt to diagnose and repair the system. Please determine what the issue is on and what or how to repair the system so you know you're going to be uh we're prompted with our controls here and uh this is very uh we have our pretty much a set of controls for each tool you will interact with here we um we're going ahead inside and just really quickly set their thermostat their thermostat to 60 which is what we were prompted you go to your log here 
please proceed, proceed to the indoor thermostat and set the system to cool below the ambient room temperature at 60 degrees to ensure that the unit does not satisfy while you perform your diagnosis. So you have a log here too, in case you, you ever, you know, to uh, check uh, a previous prompt. So we set this to cool and we get our next prompt, which is to retrieve our indoor toolbox from the HVAC R, um, our EDU service truck and proceed to the indoor fan coil unit, the air handler, verify that the indoor blower motor is operating while at the indoor fan coil, the air handler, remove the panel or panels to visually verify the type of metering device the unit is equipped with. So I'm just gonna run through, uh, you know, just uh, up to uh, measuring the the yeah, amperage would, on the blower. Yeah, I, and, would, uh, I would just comment. I would just comment on this that sure. these are this this is the sequence of operation that you would typically do on a service call in this you know for this this type of call. So these are these are the uh, tasks that somebody would do, just straight up. Should do. Well, yeah, should do. <laughs> should do. Yeah. Right, that's what the training's for, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this is a uh, interact completely interactive. Like, uh, for example, upon removing a removal of unit, uh, the panels and have access to indoor coil, which is this uh, A shape uh, uh, mesh there. I have. What is the type of metering device installed? So, you can either come here, click on this, and you can see, in this case, is a TXV, uh, or you can check up here. So we can hop on our ladder, replace this panel, and we can uh, check here. It's a TXV right here, as you can see. So, And James and, and team, I want to make note of something here, and that is, you know, this is coming through a stream. The quality is tenfold times better on your own computer you think this looks uh, like awesome well, wait till you get it on your device yeah yeah this is uh yeah it's absolutely amazing when you're here when you're in you know you have it on your on your device on your computer running as you can see we have visual cues as well in case you don't have um audio or sound for whatever reason you can see that the air is blowing so the unit is on so now we'll, we'll take our measurement We'll set our multimeter to amps, so we can take our measurement. And now you want to have these panels replaced for an accurate reading. So we'll re we'll remove our uh, our ladder and replace our panels, and we should get a reading. And here we go. It's a three point one amp reading. So, uh, yeah, James, would you like me to continue, or should we question? No, or? I think. I think that's good. I think that uh, kind of shows people what we're looking at. So again, you can see how this is very different from the traditional Web 2 experience um, where you're just walking through. I mean, you, you everybody here has gone through some kind of online training. And it's, you again, usually you watch a video or you read something and then there's a quiz at the end. Um, and I just think this is a lot. This is a better way to get on the job type experience and uh, really work through this. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, and I do want to, everyone can download this for themselves and walk through it, correct? Yes, actually it's uh, uh, it's free for two weeks upon download. So um, anyone can download it. We have uh, the links for it. So anyone who wants to use this, uh, uh, interact with it can um, download it from the link. And I think it's uh, I, upon the first run, you have two weeks. I know actually that, and you know, other, after that time you'll be locked out. So, okay. Uh, yeah. And I would just add, James. You know, this is a very generous offer from from DC, from Chris Compton and HVACR Edu, because you know this is part of a, a long term program which is built into, you know, taking somebody through a lot of courses, and to offer this for free for two weeks so that people can try it out and enjoy it and learn from it is just incredible. Um, we really, really enjoy that a lot. And uh, I think the community, as we get the message out, uh, we'll put big free signs on it for two weeks. Uh, it's just quite amazing that this interaction can be free for a couple of weeks for everybody who wants to check it out. 
Yeah, that's amazing. Um, a couple of questions that I had. First off, a question I get quite often is so when people, when we've had BioFi on, you know, BioFi is focused on biometrics and then kind of out of uh, left field, it's like, oh, we also do this metaverse education stuff. Can you just kind of talk real briefly about how, how did that come to be? How'd you get from biometrics to metaverse training? Oh, so th this is a this is an incredible leap in technology. So, from a biometric financial uh, perspective, we had uh, purchased the uh, Doge Run uh, NFT collection, which included a uh, metaverse uh, simulation, uh, you know, planet Titan, uh, and a few other artifacts. And so, uh, we found that to be an important. Uh, growth potential for BioFi because, um, you know, we can connect that up to the Avalanche network, uh, to Constellation, uh, other networks, and also have an ability to uh, offer these NFT collections uh, in a competitive way. Uh, and then it became clear to us that the, the real future of this is in education. And that, you know, people, just as you described better than my own words, you've described the, the next generations that are behind us that are coming up through high school and college right now. This is the way they learn and this is the way they will learn and it'll help them immensely in their jobs. And imagine all the companies out there from Train to Lennox to Daikin uh, looking for quality people coming out of these programs. So DC and his team can offer the best education and also the most attractive education uh, with this type of training. And just imagine, you know, hundreds of thousands of new people coming through, becoming HVAC technicians, which we need dearly in this country. There's actually a lot of job openings in this industry right now. I was really surprised to learn this. There is a lot of job openings in the HVAC R industry. <clears throat> and this will be a great way to train them up and get them out there. So we're really excited about this. It helps biometric financial in many ways because this type of training, James, is the future for everybody. Yeah, totally agree with that. Um, another question. Well, actually, Kevin says virtual education training platform on repairing air conditioning units. Will this be available in the Caribbean? So is this a U.S. only thing or have you got, are, is this going to expand out? Um, ask um, ask the uh, defense contractor at a ahead, airport in the middle of in the middle of the Sahara Desert that's taking our program right now, or uh, the technician that works in the uh, U.S. Embassy in, in Togo, which <laughs> when that in, when that enrollment came through, I was sitting there going, where in the heck is Togo? Um, um, or, you know, the, the thousands of um, technicians in the U.S. We have technicians in the Caribbean, um, Africa, um, basically around the world, uh, but the majority of them are here in the U.S. Yeah, it's available anywhere. That's that's the beauty of online. And, yep. And, and, as, and as I as I mentioned, it's something that we should uh, make note of. Uh, is that this is this is for a PC platform at, at currently? We are working on development with uh, with with Apple and iOS uh, devices, and we're going to probably expand from there. But uh, that's it's in the that's works. Perfect. So right now, PC only. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mac, oh, Mac is coming. Togo. Yeah, I found Togo. In case anybody was wondering, Togo. Uh, it's right there. This is Africa. That's Togo. So there's somebody in Togo that is doing this program. And like you said, Chris, that's the beauty of the right. internet is it doesn't matter where you're at. You can do it, do it anywhere. It's easily, you know, you can build it, build it once and millions of people can go through uh, the same thing. That's why I love software. Uh, I'm a software guy myself. Um, can I ask, how long does something like this take to build? So again, if there's people watching who are like, hey, I want to use this for my, you know, my whatever. I mean, we were thinking of all sorts of different ideas, you know, police training. Uh, we were talking about CPR training. I mean, we had a whole bunch of ideas when we were in South Africa. Um, but how long does something like this take to get spun up? I'll, I'll, I'll jump um, in first and, and then uh, 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 DC, if you don't mind. Um, so a couple things here. Um, we were we were asked, and the beauty about this technology is that it's you know it's it's like an erector set. You, you build components 
that can then be reused. So everything is reusable. Everything that David just showed you from the, the truck to the house, uh, the thermostat, the actual HVAC unit, the air handler, all the piping, all of these things are reusable. So by having this initial investment, what DC has done is he set this up for the future to tackle like dominoes, start knocking off all the others. So the first one, and, and James, you'll love this analogy in software, it's like building the swimming pool. The first one is like building that swimming pool. And then everything else after that is just, you know, icing on the cake. So basically from here forward, we add on module after module, reusing everything that was built. So this first one is several months of activity, uh, both on both sides, right? Because we've got Todd, we have Bryce, uh, others in the HVACR EDU ecosystem who are supporting, reviewing and testing and validating. And then ultimately the final use case, that is, th this is the leak detection use case, uh, the module uh, gets completed. And let me say there's other things going on here. Behind the scenes, James, is an LMS, a learning management system. So this is actually not a standalone use case. This is tied into a login into an LMS. There's also another feature that we'll be adding, which is just incredible, which is to be able to offer an NFT up to the recipient, the actual student who completes the courses and gets their certificate. So this is an amazing array of technology uh, in the metaverse, with NFTs on the blockchain, uh, using all of this, you know, high-end virtual reality with reusable components. So all the other work that we're going to add on to this will be much, much quicker to add on and, and build forward. Okay, so it's kind of yeah, building those initial models of the different tools, and then, but then when you have them available, now it's real easy drag and drop for the next scenario. It's like okay, I already got that model built, so now I just drag that in, so it'll be a lot faster going forward. That's right. And, yeah, the, right. and the quality, the quality that, that DC's team has put into this is incredible. Uh, working with Todd and others, it's just amazing. Their knowledge level, the absolute understanding in the industry. We have Dagonaut on our team. Uh, Todd, DC's entire organization is just incredibly skilled to do this. Yeah, okay. I, would, I, would try and, I would chime in and, and just say, um, well... This 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 is not my first rodeo in going into the virtual world kind of a thing. Um, my first rodeo was about 12 years ago, um, and it was sort of a train wreck. But um, I was impressed by how quickly um, Brian and David uh, and that team pulled this stuff together, and it was it was fun because we were on uh, Zoom calls. And uh, we were going through the first initial setup and so on. And and Todd and I would beat David up and say, no, 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 those threads are too coarse. You got to get those, make those finer threads on that cap. And I mean, the detail. Um, and 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 David would jump on and he'd just go zip, 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 zip. And all of a sudden now they're yep. the normal type of threads on a cap. Um, and that's, that's the kind of detail that we worked at. But um, they were quick, um, relatively speaking, to my previous experience, um, just just lightning fast. And as Brian says, as, as we go along with this project, which now will probably be never ending, curriculum, <laughs> by the way, curriculum is never ending. Uh, I know that for a fact. But now that we've we've actually as as Brian was talking about, we've we've developed an inventory, okay, and over time we'll have this whole warehouse full of parts and pieces. Oh, he froze it. Hey, that's a nice uh, freeze screen, though. He he, he looks yeah, pretty freeze. cool there. Uh, well, we're, we're Chris is going to come back. Is that inventory, James? Oh, no. And the next use case is probably going to be more simplest, simply simpler things, hook it up your refrigerant gauges, uh, how to use a meter on, a, on an air conditioner, how to, you know, diagnose a bad fuse, how to diagnose a bad thermostat, these little idiosyncrasies, all of it's built. Now we just have to use the use, put the use case in. 
Okay, amazing. Uh, and Nick is here. Just wanted to say, shout out to Nick and Monique. Greetings from South Africa. So, Monique, thanks for joining us here today. Um, Kevin had another question. This would be for the HVAC RED, you guys. Um, is this program accredited and is the certificate recognized worldwide or is the certificate U.S. only? It's uh, we are an accredited <clears throat> an accredited school. Um, uh, we're accredited by the agency that accredits all of the or most of um, the public like community college Majority. programs, private tech schools and so on. It's called HVAC Excellence. Um, and one of their missions is to accredit HVACR programs. Um, so we're, we've been accredited by excellence for I think since 2010. Wow. Um, and we main, we maintain that accreditation. Um, and as a certificate recognized worldwide, um, that I can't, I can't respond to, um, cause I don't know. Um, the, the other thing I can say is all of our content, uh, any of our programs, um, are recognized for continuing education units, um, for the national certification, uh, um, U S national certification. Um, yeah, uh, there, most certifications require um, uh, some type of continuing education every year or every two years. And um, anything that we put out is always recognized as continuing education units. Um, and it's also recognized by many state agencies across the country uh, for continuing education. Um, we do, we currently have 24, uh, we, we have apprenticeship programs in 24 states across the U.S. So uh, we also support apprenticeship programs for employers. Uh, we're recognized by the U.S. Department of Labor Office of Apprenticeship um, as um, curriculum that can be used for apprenticeship. Um, yeah, we do a lot of work on that. Um, maintaining, maintaining our recognition stuff, um, if you will. Um, Difficult. We're, we're provided for um, anybody in the HVAC industry or our HVACR industry um, in the state of California has access to our program um, for um, a scholarship. Um, and we've had that uh, operation going on for the last 13 years, um, which I, I believe is probably the largest HVACR training program in the world. I think that's right. Okay. Okay, very cool. Yeah, and from my experience, uh, again, I don't have HVAC REDU experience, or I don't have HVAC experience, but um, certifi uh, certi certifications, when you go to a lot of countries like around Africa and you say, hey, I've got a certificate from a U.S. HVAC training program, they'll accept that and say, oh, wow, yeah, that's that's great. That's, yeah. uh, that's what we're doing. Right. Right. Oftentimes that, that is, is correct. correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We actually, we've actually scholarshiped a couple of guys in um, – Nigeria. Oh, um, cool. Um, Excellent. Uh, yeah. For commercial, it was a commercial refrigeration program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. Um, Irvin had another question. Um, I think HVAC is still heavily uni unionized. Is this thorough enough to replace apprenticeships for beginners to be independent contractors? Whatever you want. I mean, it, yep. I mean, 2,300 hours of curriculum. Um, and it's, and it's staged in, in training tracks. Okay. It's, yep. it's not just helter skelter. Um, uh, the, we have, we have people, um, uh, senior advanced technicians that want to get in, for instance, want to get into building automation. Um, uh, they'll come in and they'll take our program. And, and like I said, most of them are financed by their employer. Their employer wants them to do building automation, um, yep. or uh, we work with the GSA um, in their in their building um, stock. Um, but yes, um, it says thorough enough to replace apprenticeships for beginners. We have apprenticeships for beginners. <laughs> um, um, yeah. You know, formal from ground zero. Yeah, formal apprenticeship programs that are, like I said, recognized by the Department of Labor. 
um, and or we have other avenues where somebody, um, our NAIT certified technician program, for instance, is a, um, a quick ramp up. But let me say that get, becoming um, competent in HVACR technology is not a small project. Um, I, uh, I have a great collection of, and you'll love this, but I have a great collection of butt crack cartoons. That, <laughs> yes, he does. That, yes, he does. <laughs> that over the years, my students have sent me. <laughs> um, I have a great collection of them. Um, because that is the concept of a technician, or that's the that's the public concept of a technician. But the reality is uh, HVAC and R is one of the most um, complex uh, technologies you can get into because you have to deal with all these variables, um, uh, refrigeration cycle variables, which are affected by temperature variables, which are affected by humidity, which are affected by I mean, it goes around and around. My one of my common statements is, in diagnosing a uh, HVAC system or refrigeration system, is when you kick it here, it reacts over there. Um, it's a very, very uh, balanced, and when it gets out of balance, things go wrong. Um, so it's not a small project. I want to emphasize that. It requires some thought, it requires some study and so on. But the, the rewards on the, out, on the outtake are fantastic um, as far as a career goes. And I'm a heavy promoter of the career. Uh, I've been involved for 43 years and it's just been fantastic. Okay. I want, I want to make sure that uh, I believe yeah, the question go ahead. Has to do with, with uh, is it heavily unionized? And if I recall right oh, yeah. on the question. HVACR in general is not necessarily heavily unionized. Maybe back in the 50s, um, it might have been. Uh, well, well before me, Chris, maybe you can speak on that. But uh, yeah, the fact I, of the matter is, I can. I was never, and I grew up, I've been doing this for 30 some odd years. And guess what? I was in private all the whole, my whole life. Uh, yes, there is union contractors. Yes, there are union technicians. But you don't necessarily have to be union. You have, it's weighted yeah. probably yeah. pretty equally. Oh. Yeah, I got I got the numbers. The um, I, I sort of keep track of statistics for the industry, um, just from my own knowledge. Um, fifteen to uh, up to fifteen percent of the labor workforce is unionized in HVAC and R. Um, the ironic thing is we actually um, provide training to union companies, also. So we're sort of across the board. Okay, very cool. Um, Kevin had another question. Uh, what's the cost of the program and how long does it go for? Um, Kevin B, the cost of the program um, is depending on what you want to get into. Uh, what I would recommend is uh, we have a um, information request um, on our website, hvacredu.net. Um, <clears throat> drop us a uh, drop us an information request. Um, generally speaking, I'm the guy that calls those back. If you want to call, if you don't, we can email. Um, but the the basic, uh, when a, as far as a beginning program for somebody that has no experience, um, we recommend the NACE Certified Technician Program, and it's it ends up in um, a, uh, a certification in air conditioning. Um, uh, there are numerous, numerous system types that you can become certified in through that pro program, but we do air conditioning because it's the most common system in the country um, as the initial certification. Um, that program is around $3,000, I believe. <clears throat> um, and it comes in three steps. You can buy it one step at a time um, or the whole enchilada at once or whatever. Um, it's about 260 hours long. It's not a small project. I'm, I don't apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> it's um, a lot of electrical, a lot of refrigeration cycle, a lot of air properties and measurement, um, safety, et cetera. Um, the good news, however, is that on the outcome of the program, 
um, ninety five of our percent of our students are successful on their first take of the um, certification exams, um, which is about forty plus percent higher than the national average. So that tells me we're doing a good job. Okay. Very good. Um, another question, which I know inev inevitably I get this almost every time I have you guys on, um, but Brian or Chris, um, what will this do for the BioFi ecosystem? I know you can't talk about token price in particular, but what is this, what partnership like this and potential future partnerships uh, on the education side, what does that mean for the BioFi ecosystem and potentially the coin as well? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go first, and then, uh, Chris, if you want to jump in. Um, sure. So the, the fact is, is that all of the work in the metaverse, um, you know, in this virtual reality, we're calling this BioFi Interactive, by the way. Um, all of the work that's happening in here generates a lot of revenue. It generates a lot of excitement. It, it helps change people's lives in the United States, North America, and around the world. So wherever we can get people trained to do this, and then all the industries that surround it, um, there's tons and tons of industries that surround HVAC from the metal to the electric to the piping, so many things that go into this where uh, they will need training similar to what we're doing here. And that's the beauty of this is that it opens up innovation across the entire industry segment. And we'll see this not only in North America, but around the world. So it helps to generate a lot of revenue. It helps to change people's lives and train people in ways they could never imagine. So the next generation of HVAC people that come along are going to have excellent training, uh, whether we call it, you know, truck ready uh, or having them understand these concepts in a greater, more meaningful way. Uh, getting them ready to go out and fill all of these open jobs that are available. And these are high paying jobs, by the way. Uh, we're helping people around the entire country and world. So that is worth every bit of time we're spending on this. Okay, very good. And uh, Brian says, this is very cool what they're doing. I'm a nurse. This would be awesome for ICU care or ER care. So yeah, that's definitely an industry. I mean, we thought of probably yeah. 50 different industries where it's like, this would be way better than the normal training um, that we get. So amazing, excited for the potential. Yeah, and to, to, to DC's point, you know, he attempted this years ago. It wasn't, it wasn't ready to do what we're doing now back then. It just didn't have all the pieces together to do this. Even a few years ago, we couldn't have done exactly what we're doing right now. So this is the perfect time, the perfect opportunity and the best industry to do this. It's an incredible showcase. And we're looking forward to in so many of these modules that DC has and converting those over. That's going to be so exciting. Okay. Very cool. So love it. So James, so James, what I hope you can hear me because I had to switch to my mobile. My, my network went down here. Yeah, but no, just another comment, another comment on the community for both HVAC R E D U and for BioFi. We're looking for partners exactly like this. We're looking for providers because that it's a symbiotic relationship and I hate to use buzzwords, but we cover an area of the um, uh, decentralized finance and technology area of um, that, that HVAC doesn't cover and they cover a con an industry that we know nothing about, right? There's very little overlap I would, I would expect. And what that does is it expands the ecosystem for both of us. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. As we go through projects like this and we build these relationships and we do more and more together, People learn about about BioFi Interactive that never would have heard about us, you know, in the past. And people hear about HVACR that wouldn't have heard um, through our industries or through our contacts. So really is it's that interplay and growing and then more people come in for both of us. So really it is that relationship building for everyone. And as the ecosystem grows, it will take on its own momentum. And over time, James, you've heard us say this when since we launched. Over time, you know, of Finovan and Bio, Finovan itself becomes a smaller part of the ecosystem as we bring in more and more relationships and partners, and it becomes self-sustaining as it goes forward. Yep. Well, and I've been a part of, you know, partnerships 
lead to other partnerships, lead to other partnerships, and it's just it's kind of a snowball effect. And uh, so it's it's been exactly. fun to be part of this journey. So, well, and and one other thought there too is just imagine the inspiration as the as the marketing engine uh, continues to ramp up here, James. All of the you know, like when you were in high school, did you ever decide what you were going to do at that time when you were getting ready to graduate or go to college? This is a great time to inspire a whole generation of people to get into this industry. And this is a perfect way to do it. OK, very cool. Kevin has one more one more question about the Caribbean. He's from the Caribbean. I could, didn't know if he could tell. <laughs> um, this will do well, especially in tropical countries. Is there any job assistance upon completion of the program? Um, Kevin B, uh, if you are in the Caribbean, which is a nice place to be, um, we have uh, we have a um, or we have a contact um, that is playing heavily in the Caribbean, um, which I can provide to you if you drop me an email. Um, I can turn you on to uh, an individual that is that, like I said, is playing very heavily in the Caribbean, the, the entire Caribbean area. Uh, at this point in time, uh, the fact is he has uh, he has a um, what do you call it an agreement with us um, to provide this training specifically to the CARICOM community. Okay, very yeah. cool. Yeah, there you go, Kevin. James, I don't want to speak of it online, Chris. If you want, or uh, Kevin, if you want the information, feel free to email Chris. But they are well known in the HVACR industry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Well, yeah. And Kevin, I can get you connected after this too. I know Kevin uh, pretty well, so we can get you connected as well. Get your email uh, connected if you're something you're interested in. So, um, all right. Well, what I like to, I'm a huge marketer. Okay. So that I always like to make sure there's calls to action. Um, that's what I, I don't want people just to watch videos and then not say, oh, that was nice. And then go on with their day. I like calls to action. So I'm going to go through some of what I see as calls to action. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, or you can add. You can say, no, actually, don't do that. Um, but here's what I would like from people for calls to action. Um, and I like to start at the, the least commitment and then go up to the most commitment. So first off, everyone here should hit the like button. That's very easy. It's right below the video. You're already here. Please hit the like button. Um, second off, if you'd like to, you can download. Um, it's free for two weeks this uh, HVAC RE uh, 3D interactive training simulation. So it's for Windows only right now. Mac's coming out later. But you can go to this website. I'll leave a link in the comments. Um, you can download this and just go through it. And you might not have any interest in HVAC, but I more want you to see the technology and see the possibilities and get, get your brain storming um, for how you might want to use it. Um, next call to action. There's a lot. There's a lot for this. Um, next is maybe you do want to consider HVAC as your career. Maybe you go through this training program and say, hey, it does pay very well. I was looking up median, uh, median wages for HVAC repair people, and it's, it's above median pay. So it, it makes more than average. It's above average pay for HVAC repair people. So again, if you're you know, looking for a career, go through the training module and say, hey, this is something I want to do. And then maybe you can go through the whole HVAC REDU program. Um, maybe that's a career for you going forward. A um, couple, couple others. And if you have other programs that you think, hey, this would be great, um, BioFi has a referral program. So if you say, hey, this would be great for my nursing training company that I'm a part of, then I'll leave a link to this as well. But go here. Um, BioFi, Finovon will even potentially have a, someone reach out to them and say, hey, would you be interested in doing something like this? Um, so that's uh, that's something you can look at too. Then the last one is check out the BioFi token itself. So Biometric Financial, again, the whole ecosystem kind of is going to feed into this token. So you can go check it out here. Join the Telegram group. Join the Discord group. Um, and I would, not financial advice, but financial nudging is what I call it. Um, you can DCA into the BioFi token and just prepare for as the ecosystem grows, the next bull market, you can start collecting BioFi tokens. You don't have to do a big bag all at once. You can say, hey, I'm going to do $100 a month into BioFi so that over time um, you get a, a, quite a bag ready for the bull market. So you can do that on Trader Joe. And I've got a lot of other videos that talk about that. So 
U5. How was that? Any Anything I need to add to that? Anything you want to change or caveat from what I said there? I, I would just add a couple things. So on the on the downloads, uh, there's two two things there. So uh, we are going to uh, keep track uh, between uh, DC's organization and the BioFi. There are two different download pages. Whichever one, we're going to share that information and pick five people who have completed the download. Uh, and out of the the entire uh, mix of people by the, at the end of the month, at the end of this month, and give away uh, five $100 tranches of BioFi tokens to each, to five people randomly out of that group. So that's uh, just an incentive so Brian, to, to down. Sorry? Is that Friday since that's the 30th, right? Is that Friday since that's the 30th? So that yes. The yeah, knows? it would be this. It would be this Friday, um, the end of the month. Uh, so we'll be giving that away. And then I think um, you guys are offering a 10% discount, right? Yeah, we are. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, we are. 10% off of whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. So take advantage of that as well. I know my audience loves discounts and free things. Not that they're a cheap audience, but they do enjoy the, uh, the giveaways <laughs> and the discounts and things like that. Frugal, yes, frugal, you're right. exactly right. We call it frugal, yeah, yeah. right? Not cheap. Frugal. So, well, hey, this financially is responsible. Yeah there, yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, this has been amazing, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been great meeting the HVACR EDU team, especially. Um, I just want to thank. Well, I, I'll do some thanks since Brian always starts with that. I like to end with that. Uh, Todd is raising his hand. Yes, Todd. Yeah. One, one last thing I want to uh, interject, though, is that this training module that we developed, when you go download it, it's not really advanced level, but it's a little, little more advanced than somebody getting into the trade. And you might struggle, but that's okay because the, the uh, platform or the training, uh, this 3D interactive training, bump steers you. If you get the question wrong, that's fine. I'll give you an option, another, another option to try. So, Example, I, I saw when David was presenting, he said, oh, what, what, what is it, a TXV or a fixed meter vice? Well, you might not know what a fixed meter vice or a TXV is. That's fine. Okay, that's something we, we do in our training as we bring you to this. So this is not an entry-level uh, uh, course or, 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 or um, training training experience, but it's okay. It's just something to get your, your, your feet wet and see if you like it. Uh, as James mentioned, hey, maybe this is something for you. And if it is, give us a knock on our door. We'll be happy to have, talk with you and get you, get you more information. Yeah, and that's the beauty of doing it this way rather than you going out in the field when you have no idea what you're doing. You know, if you make a mistake in the metaverse, it's not really a big deal. You can reset and just keep going. If you, you know, and, and, cut the wrong wire in uh, real life, it can be disastrous. So, And to that, James, you know, a lot of this happens to go, we see possibly drawing bigger or closer partnerships with um, manufacturers. Okay. Some manufacturers have their own training, and that's fun. Uh, manufacturer specific, that is. But other manufacturers don't. And this could these trainings can help eliminate possible poor diagnostics diagnostics to a warranty call. A lot of uh, a lot of warranty return fraud, like the return of the warranty or parts. That is nothing wrong with them. It was a bad diagnostic. So being able to do this here on a screen and going, "Oops, I made a mistake." It's okay. Yep. Yep, that's the beauty of it. And James, one one other comment, you know, and these guys have, you know, it's it's amazing the training that's been passed along to generate this. So David, who's who's here, we kind of joke that you know we could have David come over and work on our HVAC machines because he's so knowledgeable now after going through all this training. There you go, good idea. I was even feeling that way after I went through it a couple times. I was like, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Get me out there. I'll, uh, I'll start it, doing it. It trains you faster. It trains you better. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Well, hey, let's uh, let's wrap up here. Audience, as always, you guys are amazing. Appreciate you guys showing up. Again, the reason I'm so thankful when you know I was in South Africa and was meeting all these cool people and was able to connect with so many cool people, meeting the HVAC REDU team, all of this is possible for me because of my audience. So I appreciate you guys very much. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching. Um, and then Finavant team, you guys are always amazing, but I see you all the time, so I'm not going to do a long, sappy farewell. Uh, but Todd and Chris, amazing to meet you guys. 
And uh, thanks for coming on my channel, talking about what you're doing. And I look forward to it. Hopefully, we'll we'll talk again here in the future. Thanks for yeah, having, thanks. having us. Thanks, James. Thanks, thanks for having us. Awesome. Hope right, everyone has a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll see you all later. Take Thank care. You.